So today's project is replacing my standard folding mirrors with towing folding mirrors. So these are going to come off and these are going to go on. All right, so first things first, you got to remove the trim cap inside this part of the door right here. There's a little cap that you need to pull off, set to the side. There's also a cap in here, and I'm using a real tiny jeweler screwdriver to get under this thing. And you may have to do this a couple times. this is a booger to get out. I mean, I get that they want this to look seamless, but it would be really nice if this was easier to pull out. There you go. All right. And so these bolts here are 5 16 and those of you who know me know that I have carpal tunnel in both hands so I try to avoid turning a screwdriver whenever I can. So these are harder to see but this is a quarter inch bolt. I think somebody else's video said six millimeters but quarter inch fits so that's what I'm using. Here. So it's just a total of four bolts that hold this on. So now you just want to pull up. And in our case, I'm not actually going to take the door off because I don't need to. I only need access to these three bolts. I need to pull this back so that I can get this connector loose. So. We're gonna pull that loose. And now I'm gonna check the other connector. The connector does look the same. These are 7 16 So I'm just gonna use a deep well socket to get in here. This is easier to do with the window down. Now I'm going to detach the, the mirror. Go set it. All right, so it's time for the new mirror to go in. And you can't see it, but I'm going to align the little switch here. I just want to get my top bolt started because that will stop anything from happening. I don't want my new mirror to fall off. Now I'm going to get the rest of my nuts started. Start the truck and see what happens with the new mirror before we button up. Now I'm going to start the truck and see what happens with the new mirror before I button up the power connection.
All right, so that's a beautiful thing. The only gripe that I have is that it's out of phase. So this is in while that one's out, but I think once it's changed, it'll be good. And I've still got a little button up work to do on the outside. But these mirrors are 1,000 times better than stock mirrors for seeing what's going on on the side of your truck. There are no blind spots with these mirrors. And now I'm gonna tuck this back in and just make that as nice as I can. I'm gonna extend the mirror because I need to check the, how tight it is. All right, so I'm checking to make sure that the mirror is not loose on the outside. That looks good. So at this point, we're gonna button the door back up. And all we do is just reverse the order of the steps. Oh, missed that one. I'm checking that the bottom is good, so all those are good. I'm gonna put the, check my door locks. So now what I'm gonna do is put the screws in at the bottom first. All The one with the flat washer attached goes in the, the door grab. And then the long one with no washer goes by the door handle. And this goes back down in here. snaps into place and this irritating thing goes back behind here and we're all good as good as new it took me about 10 minutes to install so now I'm gonna turn the truck around so I have access to the other side just like on the other side we've got to pop the insert out of the uh, door and out of the door handle. The easiest way to do this is just push really hard and drive it under there and then twist. I'm actually going to see if I can grab it this way. No, there's no, there's no room to do that. So you can't get a regular screwdriver in there by itself. There you go. You do have to kind of dig out a little bit. You might put a little nick in it. I, I don't care, nobody looks at that. So we're gonna go ahead and take this one out. Remember, there's no washer on the top one. And then the 5 16 in the door hole that has a washer on it. Now you gotta switch to quarter inch and you gotta go to the bottom and there's two. One back here and one up here. Next you go ahead and switch to the 5 16 because you're gonna need that next. So and you just lift up. And again, I'm not taking the door all the way off because I only need access to where the mirror is. And you just pull this and push this little tab and it will separate. There we go. So 
So now you need to just get in here and get these bolts. And now we'll pull the mirror off. And I'll be right back with the other mirror. All right, so first things first, we want to get a bolt in one hand. secured because this keeps it from falling out. There we go. Now we'll go ahead and get the other two started. Well, they still have to be... So these are apparently a different size. I want to just verify that these don't fit. Well, they do. So I'm going to put the original bolts back on. It says they need three complete cycles of in and out. So we'll go ahead and do that. doesn't seem to work and that may just be that I need a different switch because the connectors fit perfectly and uh, at any rate I gotta do some investigating to figure out how to make that work.
our mirror functions work. So that's all really good. I just got to figure out how to get uh, the telescope piece to work, but I really don't need the telescope piece. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and informative. I'm going to button the door back up and then I'll be done.